Your morning news now. The Trump administration is proposing a new rule meant to slow down the flow of illegal migrants across the southern border. It would allow migrant families to stay together, but they would be detained indefinitely until their asylum case is decided. Under current rules, families with children are released after no more than 20 days. A federal judge would need to approve the change. That's hundreds of millions of dollars in student debt held by our severely wounded warriors. It's gone forever. With a newly signed executive order, the federal student loan debt of thousands of disabled veterans is being automatically canceled. Previously, that debt could still be forgiven, but people had to submit an application to make it happen. And as of last spring, many had not done that. Eligible veterans will be getting notified. Meanwhile, another of the president's Democratic opponents has dropped out of the 2020 presidential race. Washington Governor Jay Inslee announced the end of his campaign last night. The Associated Press is reporting he will instead seek a third term as governor. Up for some patchy fog early this morning, especially in the valleys and coolies here in downtown La Crosse. We're seeing some fog, but visibility uh, not a problem out at the airport. Thickest fog right now down to the south, impacting places like Decorah, Prairie Sheen, and Boscobel. In Brazil today, a massive wildfire is burning in the Amazon forest, rainforest. So far this year, there have been nearly 75,000 wildfires in that region, which is known as the lungs of the planet because the rainforest generates 20% of the oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere. The World Health Organization is calling for a crackdown on plastic pollution. The group conducted research on microplastics in the environment and found very tiny pieces of plastic in drinking water, food, and air. The study says there's an urgent need for more research about the health impact. Gas prices are cheap and they're going to continue to be cheaper into the fall. Right now, they're on average about 20 The national average gas price dropped 17 cents over the past month, and AAA says the downward trend will continue. The group predicts a decrease of 20 to 25 cents over the next several months, mainly because of falling crude oil prices. Starting today in La Crosse, a Lozy Boulevard detour. Utility work means northbound lanes at Mormon Cooley Road will be off limits to traffic through the weekend. A detour will bring drivers back onto Lozy at Ward Avenue. Southbound lanes won't be affected. Also starting today, repair work means one lane of La Crosse Street westbound near the intersection with Lozy will be closed. All lanes are expected to be reopened by tomorrow. You can help fight hunger in the La Crosse area tonight by attending the Hunger Task Force Taste of the Garden fundraiser. Organizers tell us tickets will be available at the event, which starts at 5 at the Kane Street Community Garden. Proceeds benefit the garden and the food recovery program. More college kids are heading back into, into town. Today is freshman move-in day over at Viterbo University in La Crosse. If you drive in the campus area, do expect to see lots of students and lots of moving boxes today and through the weekend. Classes start Monday at Viterbo. We're expecting an update later today about construction on the band shell in La Crosse's Riverside Park. You can check out the progress for yourself if you head down to the park for another free Moon Tunes concert tonight. And it's Blues Night. Music starts at 5.30. Uh, I think the lesson is, uh, you know what, put a little more work in during the season or else you might end up on a billboard <laughs> at the end. Oh, this poor fella. A Texas man named Eric has his face and his phone number on a billboard because he is terrible at fantasy football. Now it's all in fun. Everybody in his fantasy league agreed last year. Whoever finished last would endure this public shaming and they all pitched in to pay for the billboard. Also, the Green Bay Packers are in Canada for tonight's preseason game against the Raiders. Kickoff is at 7. No word on if Aaron Rodgers will be playing. Well, refreshing temperatures this morning in the 50s, even some 40s over towards Sparta. It's going to be another pleasant day with a mix of sun and clouds once the uh, patchy fog mixes out early this morning. We'll see highs in the mid-70s for most, probably around 78 out at the La Crosse Airport. Well, thanks so much for sharing your morning with us. We hope you have a great Thursday, and we'll look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow morning.